My name is Jake. Hi, my name is Tristan. Hi, my name is George. Hi, my name is Thomas. Sometimes we had to build and rebuild our models. So guys, what are you doing now? We're editing. Mm. You're just changing bits. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in the end, this this bit down here fits on so it doesn't fall off. Mm -hmm. Right. Are the Bodnam builders. We have decided to make a space rover to move stuff around on the planet. Oh, I can't get on. Yeah, put that in there. And at the I'm 
literally do anything with this. Yeah. No, just keep on going. The problem we've got is, is the inside. The inside cog is not connecting to the motor, yeah. so it isn't. It's only moving one moving wheel. That one. But and it's not, not this one. moving that one. So it's that only going in circles. So, of and it isn't very yeah. stable. so what's what do you need to do then? Do you think to to push it in a bit more, and then it should connect to that one. Yeah. And then Lovely. should follow the line. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. 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 Ye
This is the airlock docking station. A space shuttle will come attached to it. A pipe will come through and then they'll crawl through. And then they will go into the actual space station. These are the solar panels which will attract light power. This is a satellite dish, so here's an example of what it does. If you want to send a newspaper, say you've got here, you've got the newspaper, say, on the internet, if you have the internet on the space station, which you don't, you could send it down to Earth and they could read it. And if they want to send last week's newspaper up through, um, like, Morse code or something, then you could send it through the satellite and they'd be able to see it, read it, do whatever. Print it, they can print it, they can print it out. Print it out, yeah. Yes. Like this is the smart hub which we connect we connect to this tablet and then you can see the smart hub has a wire going into it which which goes into this motor which is controlled by this tablet. The tablet basically has just got a very short program on the play button, speed of two miles an hour, um, a clockwise motor and a 60 second timer so it will spin for 60 seconds. We're just going to play that now for 60 seconds for you whilst we're talking so that's going to be So anything else we need to talk about? We've only set like... it as to speed because like we want to make it really slow because like when you see them on movies they're really slow but they're actually going thousands, thousands of miles. Thousands of miles an hour. Yeah but yeah, it actually looks like that because of the earth is so big. You might be wondering why it's going around the circle, it's orbiting the So that's what that is and I think that's it. After a lot of ideas, we decided to make a space buggy as the other ones were not so good. We worked hard as a team to create our robot. We put all our in ideas together to create a space-themed space vehicle slash robot. Our robot was inspired by the Curiosity Rover. We found some information about it here. With its rover named Curiosity, Mars Science Laboratory mission is part of NASA's Mars Exploration Program as long-term effort with robotic exploration of the Red Planet. We use the Lego sensor because it looks at the sensor of the Curiosity rover. We use cogs to make the wheels turn. The job of our vehicle slash robot is to collect samples of soil from different planets. Once the samples are collected, they are examined by scientists and look for any signs of life. Problem, and he doesn't pick up little stuff. 
We based our robot on a Curiosity rover and it takes samples from Mars and we've made an advanced one of the we do, we do video and we've customised it and this sensor is like the sensor of the real Curiosity rover that takes samples from Mars and it should actually scoop up the the whole Lego pieces. an alien it stops and then it makes a sound to alert that it's discovered something then it changes it, it changes color to blue and red 
and then it carries on moving for one second and then stops to study it. We made the Land Rover from a model on the app, fixed it up a little bit and added an antenna on the back. This is the motion sensor that picks up the aliens. We made the alien out of spare parts and we called it Bobby. It gets detected by the uh, rover that we made and stops and alarms and then it, <coughs> it, s it goes up to the alien and uh, studies it. After it inspects the alien, it moves backwards at a speed of 8. Big wheels at the front, back and small wheels at the front. So when it can go, so it's easier for it to go over obstacles. This, the big wheel at the back would also let it go faster. Found the alien. It goes slower at the speed of one, and then after inspecting it, it retreats much faster at the speed of eight. And then picks up signals from Earth. The chain here is for collecting aliens. So when in, so instead of retreating, but it can also do that. and I am one of the captains of the team. Hello, I'm Freddie Ashton. I'm the captain. I'll make sure everyone's on task and working. I also make sure they have a great time. Hello, I'm Alex Alston. I am in charge of ICT and I make sure all the programming is correct. Hello, I'm Adrian Slavinsky and I'm the designer for the group. Hello, I'm Joshua Smith and I'm the engineering group. I test how things work and I experiment with ways of making our vehicle work better. With the design, we didn't really know what to do. Well, at first, we were thinking of Milo the science buggy with a rocket on it like those trucks that you see with, in NASA and that. But then we figured, no, it was, there, was, there wasn't enough parts. So then we figured out that there was an alien spaceship. So we used that, but it doesn't exactly look like one because it's alien spaceships are round, aren't they? But then we had, but then we had problems with the motor and like we didn't know which ways to put it. Like we had, like we tried to put it on the side, we tried to put it in the, uh, upside down, but then we, but then we left one out, put it on top, and it worked. And then we start building the body, which looks good, and that is how we came across the designs. <laughs> this was originally a prototype, but it didn't work. So after when we're making the prototypes, we've made three, maybe two so far, and the second one worked the most, but it didn't turn or work. So we're just on our third, maybe fourth design now, and we're trying to make out which one's gonna work better. We've tried plenty of times with the different prototypes, uh, we need to take this but one. all of them, not all of them, didn't work. And we've 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 been trying a lot, but with this, but with all of them, they we just can't get them right. And like with the second one, where we forgot to put the steering um, uh, 
thing on, but it didn't work because we didn't have enough space to put it. So we had to give up on that one, but that was a really, really good design. So uh, we're having a bit of trouble getting this done. And this is us trying to make a new model. This is our final design for the project. Well, finally, we've got our final design. It's good, and this one can actually turn. And um, we're working hard, and we're, we're, get, we're definitely, definitely getting to um, we're proper close getting fish, finishing. This is our team. They're trying hard on uh, our new design, and it looks quite good. This is our uh, final design, and um, it looks quite good actually. We're just decorating it, and as you can see here, we have like little rockets. Yeah, and it's just our final design. It looks quite good. Hello. And today, I've got Joshua Smith and Ella Barron. So, guys, what are your responsibilities for the team, Josh? Well, my responsibility is to make sure that the vehicle <coughs> works, it has everything it needs, and the parts are working well on the day. Thank you. Ella, what are your responsibilities? Um, I make sure that the, um, the vehicle is working on the day, which... You helped me quite a lot with it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is quite um good. yeah, and um I make ideas what to put on the buggy. And yeah. Oh. Thank you. Um Josh, what what are your responsibilities on the day for the buggy? Um well I'll probably be with Ella sorting it out. So I'll I'll be working with Ella to make sure that the wheels don't get jammed and we have everything working, basically. Ella, what will your re uh, responsibilities be? Um, on the day um, when people are there, I make sure that everybody would be in the group and participating with everything and make sure that we probably win. You'll probably have to talk to the judge while we're yeah. there as well. Thank you. Thank you for your time, guys, and I uh, hope you have a good day. On the day? Well, on the day, I will be making sure everything's good and everyone's doing what they need to do. I think me and Ella would also be doing that, and maybe Josh, maybe, maybe Alex, maybe. Yeah. But um, on the day, I think I'll be setting up. Talk to the judges, make sure everything's all good, and well, yes, yeah. it will be communicating with other teams, maybe as well. Yeah, that could happen. Make friends. Yeah. Yeah. So, Alex, what's your responsibility on the day? Well, my responsibility will be to program the uh, vehicle and also uh, connect to the vehicle, and also be talking with other people as well, like communicating and also talking to the judges if Freddie or Ella need help. Okay. Have you got any, anything else to, to say? Mm, well, we have been... I think when we are done on our vehicle currently, it can follow a black line. It could turn, maybe go backwards, backwards turn, right and left. We go, yeah. But mm. that's, all I, that's all I have to say. The vehicle is going well. Yeah, I, yeah, that, yeah, I have to say that about how many troubles we've had with it over yeah. the time. So yeah. now it's working, so that's lucky. And yeah, I just need to be twiddling my fingers doing the programming. Okay, is that it? Yeah. I guess, yeah. Okay, thank you for your time. No problem. And bye. Hello, and here I have today is Joshua Smith and Adrian Slewinski. So, what are your responsibilities, boys? Uh, my responsibilities.
responsibilities are to make sure that everything works on the day, to make sure our vehicle is fine and just things like that really. And what are your responsibilities Adrian? Well I design everything and I build it and that's all I do. Because really I've had quite a bit of trouble um, first time doing it with the design because we weren't sure about our base really. So tell me, how many designs have you had? About, about five now or six. Five or six. Yeah. Alright, well, thank you for your time boys.